Bingo! Bluey! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Shay the Nifty Mom and thank you so much for stopping by. But don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and the bell button to stay notified. And to the old subscribers, thank you so much. So do you want to see how I drew Blue and made a play activity out of it for Ivana? Keep on watching. showing the items are going to need to recreate this play and yes yeah, so don't be scared don't be scared you don't have to be an artist to be able to recreate this activity trust me i am not one i have said this several times i am not an artist all i did was go online i went on youtube and i searched for how to draw blue luckily for me i was able to see a step-by-step -step video then i recreated it on this white paper on the table so on this main box now i am recreating what i drew here on the box so it's quite easy for me now because i already drawn it first and to draw it again is no longer a difficult task so why bluey what is bluey bluey is a cartoon character that shows on disney I watch this cartoon with my daughter because I have to be sure the cartoons she watches are safe for her age, are educating and they are not immoral, right? So I enjoy watching cartoons as well, so it's a plus and yes, this particular cartoon is very, very educating and it teaches not just children, it teaches parents how to have fun, how you can teach your child educating things through play you know it's not all about book work all about book book school work and all of that through play you get to teach them the basic things they need to you know incorporate in their daily lives you get to teach them morals you get to teach them how to say thank you how to say please how to say excuse me through play because as a parent they watch us and when they watch us do things they get to learn things from us as we are their first source of socialization right so this cartoon is very entertaining it teaches us these things and i've been able to learn a lot from this cartoon and i'll also encourage you parents to please watch this cartoon with your child and you'll be able to see how all i'm explaining is actually true right so there was this particular episode where bluey's dad bingo were out right and bluey was trying to get his daddy sorry bluey was trying to get her daddy's attention and she was being rude about it and she was impatient let me just use the word impatient so her dad had to teach her that when you want to talk to an adult that is having a conversation with another adult you don't just come and um what's the word now you don't just come and interrupt adults when they're having conversations just try walk up to me get my attention and i'll give you a signal to wait and when i'm done having the conversation i get to come to you and we have our own conversation so it was a very very um interesting way to analyze it and i was able to learn a thing from there and i've learned several things from this particular character and i was able to bring the character to ivana true play and the minute she saw the cartoon character she just she was elated and she was happy and she just went right into it so what is the essence of this play this play is centered around learning and encouraging five motor skills so i explained in some videos back what five motor skills are and why they are important for your child so i'm going to leave it in the description box again in case you need to refresh your memory on what the importance of fine motor skills are so this particular play is centered around it and 
Ivana was able to develop her fine motor skills through this activity. So as you continue watching, you see how I ended up drawing the character, how I cut open a mouth for it so that Ivana is going to put in the food for the character. Now, for older children that already know their ABCs, they already know their one, two, threes, they already know their additions, I am looking for ways to, you know, teach them these things in a play manner, right? You just have to, I'm drawing a bow now, you just have to draw this type of thing out and draw this bone. And on the bones, you can now write out numbers and you tell them to so um you tell them to add one plus two like if you had one bone plus two bones what does it give you it gives you three so that way they are able to be to be learning yet they are playing you know sometimes children are scared of books they don't want to read at a certain time they want to play they want to watch their games they want to watch their cartoons and all of that but when you introduce the same learning activity to them but through play they think they are playing but you know what you are achieving you are teaching them but you are teaching them through play now on these bones now i've written out the numbers so you can also do this for your older children that already know their numbers very well that's you know just tell them to put into the um the character's mouth the numbers accordingly you know you just go one two three so it's encouraging counting it's encouraging number identification it's encouraging number addition subtractions you can use it in any format you can use this access in any form you can use any animal of your choice you can you can use um in the past i've also drawn out a monkey i will upload the video very soon i've drawn a monkey i've drawn a butterfly so feeding the animal games are games that are activities that you know teaches your children through play so they get to they get to learn yet they are playing so yes continue watching the video you're going to see how i cut it out and how i also drew asparagus now asparagus was in another episode of bluey you know <laughs> I really enjoy this particular character and Ivana does a lot so having her play with this was a success because she just went right into it and there was no fuzzing. She was just happy and you know I achieved what I needed the play to do. So yes please if you recreate this activity for your child no matter their age just find the balance to it the one that will fit the child's age at that particular time. So keep on watching to see how I introduce the play to Ivana. Now let's draw asparagus. So the same way I learned to draw bluey is the same way I learned to draw asparagus. I went on Google and searched for asparagus and I got the drawing. I drew it out on the white paper first and I'm drawing it out on the main paper 
a green paper panel the asparagus is the plant and it is green in color so i had to recreate this using a green paper to make it look like asparagus so yes if you've missed this particular episode of bluey i'm sure they have it on their youtube channel where you can watch it and see what she is actually talking about and yes they also show it every day on disney and i mean it is very entertaining so yes keep on watching and you get to see where this leads to And so we are all done the same way I wrote out numbers on the bones you can also write out number on this asparagus just be creative be fun be ready to explore and you know tap into your child's imaginations and once you're done putting in the food in the character's mouth just open up the box and you know take them out and you can play over and over and over until the child gets tired <laughs> Now, now let's get started Ivana went right into the play and she was enjoying it as expected so it wasn't so much of a dramatic kind of play that was that needed so much explanations she just went right in so if you are going to recreate this for your child please be certain it is in line with your child's age and just be fun about it let them go according to their peers and you know let them have fun with it thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a comment below don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and yes 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 sharing is caring thank you so much and see you on the next video bye bye